Local 12 News was the first to tell you about a lawsuit against the city of Cincinnati over whether remote workers can be taxed even if they don't come into the office. The issue has also reached the state house in Ohio. As Local 12's James Pilcher shows us, other communities are sounding the alarm about possible budget cuts. The village of Evendale is home to three world headquarters for major corporations like GE Aviation and Formica. That makes them incredibly vulnerable to this remote tax issue and susceptible to cuts in services. Well, it will be a disaster. Mayor Richard Finan is sounding the alarm about possible cuts to police, snow plowing and fire. He's anticipating as much as a 30 percent drop in revenue or a loss of four million dollars. Evendale uh, gets 85 percent of its money in the income tax. The Ohio legislature is currently considering House Bill 157. It will prohibit cities and villages like Evendale, Cincinnati and Blue Ash from imposing income taxes on employees not physically doing their work at an office. And other lawsuits against Cincinnati, Columbus and others are seeking the same thing, taxing employees where they work, not where their office is. But it could mean massive cuts in revenue for Evendale, Blue Ash and others relying on workers who don't live in their jurisdictions. Finan argues his village still needs to protect those offices. Democratic State Representative Bridget Kelly of Cincinnati also opposes the bill. When you have government leaders, business leaders saying this is this is bad policy, we should we should we should hear that case. I reached out to several Republican legislators on this issue, but none got back to me. In Evendale, James Pilcher, Local 12 News. James, thank you. The legislature's Ways and Means Committee could vote to send it to the full House by the end of the month.